as it's International Women's Day today, Poppy and I, although she doesn't look that excited about it, we're heading into our local village of Bodvari to find out a little bit more about a woman who has gone down in history. We're now in the centre of the pretty village of Bodvari and an interesting feature is the pub just behind me. When it's open, you can go in and actually enjoy a drink sat around an old well, which is inside the pub. There was another well at Bodvari that was for St David and apparently what you had to do was dip your infants in up to the neck, three of the corners, and that would stop them crying at night. Luckily, touch wood, we don't have a problem with Poppy crying at night at the moment, but that well, St David, is one of the reasons why the influential woman that I'm going to talk to you about today came here to Bodvari. Another interesting thing about St David is that actually it's his Saint's Day today. It's either the 7th or 8th of March, it's up for debate. Um, but it's funny that that happens to be the day I'm here. And currently, we're just walking around the churchyard of St Stephen. Now, his Saint's Day is interesting as well, because on Boxing Day in Wales, we don't call it Boxing Day in Welsh. We call it uh, Dydd St Stefan, which is St Stephen's Day. We don't call it Boxing Day at all. And you may have heard of St Stephen because of the song Old King Wenceslas, who looked out on the Feast of Stephen. So we know that they're singing about the 26th of December. So who was this influential woman I want to talk to you about here on International Women's Day in Bodvari? Well, her name is St Winifred um, and she's also associated with Holy Well. So it all fits in together really, really nicely. She was originally from Flintshire and the story is set in Hollywell, not too far from here. As with most history, it's not actually a very nice story at all. St Winifred, before she was a saint, um, attracted the attentions of a, a man um, who got very, very angry when she said, no, I'm dedicating my life to the church. I don't want to marry you. He was so angry, he got out a sword and he decapitated her. A bit over the top, if you ask me. But St Winifred, where her head fell, a holy well, a source of water, sprang up um, and also her uncle, St Bagno, was able to heal her and put her head back on um, and she lived and then became an abbess at a local abbey. Now where her head fell originally is now the place of St Winifred's well, uh, which you can still go and visit today when it's open. Um, and go and bathe in the holy waters of that spring that sprang up where her head fell. And it's supposed to heal all sorts of ailments, but especially kind of mobility issues. Um, and a lot of people still go there today. It's still a place of pilgrimage. One thing for you to note about St Winifred, if you ever see a picture of her, whether it's a stained glass window in a church or an engraving or a picture, um, always look at her neck. Because of her horrible fate with that sword, you will actually see a line across her neck. And it's not a necklace. It is where her head was put back on and the scars from that awful day. I know it's not a particularly nice story, but it does show that St Winifred kind of stood up for what she believed in and, you know, had a bad experience, but it came out good in the end. And I think that's a really good lesson for us all, especially people like Poppy, who've got to find their way in the world too. And it's been really nice on International Women's Day to come out and actually find out a little bit more about a local woman um, in our own little village. Um, I've known about St Winifred's for quite a while, but I didn't realise that she'd actually kind of come to my home village and we might have even walked in her footsteps today, haven't we, Pops? So that's been really fascinating. And it just makes me wonder what else is out there? What are the stories? And who might have been to your local village or town? And what did they do? And what's their story? So it's worth checking out, especially as it's International Women's Day today. 